Hey everyone, Bob here. Our topic for today is about truck fuel economy. Fuel economy is measured by the distance a truck travel on a given volume of diesel fuel, or it could also be defined the other way around as number of liters of fuel consumption for every kilometer or 100 kilometers, or the fuel economy otherwise also called as fuel efficiency. In the U.S., fuel economy is measured in miles per gallon of fuel. In the countries which use metric system, liters of fuel per 100 kilometers is most preferred measure of fuel economy. Fuel is one of the transport operating budget, which is a transport manager can get potential savings. There are factors that affect the fuel economy which the manager must know in order to lower down the fuel costs of the budget. Therefore, the managers should be aware of these factors and implement a strategic plan for continuous improvement. One of these is the factor of the driver. Awareness training must be implemented with the driver complement if the manager wanted to address this area of improvement. Vehicle starting, don't gun your engine to warm it up. Idle warm the engine and warm up the engine while driving gives better fuel economy. Avoid jackrabbit takeoff and sudden stops. Pretend there's an egg between your foot and the accelerator. Gradual acceleration saves fuel and vehicle wear and tear. Shift to high gear as soon as you can and stay there as long as you can. Low gear speed consumes much more fuel than high gear speed. Reduce vehicle idling. Heavy duty trucks are excellent candidates for idle reduction technology because many operate at idle 30% to 50% or more of the time. Diesel engine idling increases fuel consumption, engine wear, and required engine maintenance. The fuel consumption for diesel trucks at idle is typically 0 0.8 to 1.5 gallon per hour, depending on the engine size, ambient temperature, and load for HVAC or heating and ventilating air conditioning, and other electrical loads. Idling also causes undesirable emissions. Heavy duty trucks are typically parked and idled so that driver can rest at truck stops, parking area, and roadside rest areas. The trucking industry has been using various forms of idle reduction. Many are as simple as enabling the engine control system to shut the engine off if it idles longer than a set length of time. Truck drivers idle because they are unaware of the benefits of reducing idling or out of habit. Vehicle cruising and stopping. Drive at steady moderate speed. You use twice as much fuel at 110 kilometers per hour than at 80 kilometers per hour. Keep your foot as steady as possible on the accelerator pedal. Each time you pump the pedal, you give more unnecessary fuel, which is just wasted. Drive smoothly and avoid unnecessary stops by observing developing traffic situations ahead. You can time your approach to the intersection with the green light. A 40-ton tractor trailer requires about 0 0.5 liters of fuel to accelerate from 0 to 60 kilometers per hour. Stay in your lane, especially in heavier traffic. Weaving in and out of lanes waste fuel. Provide momentum when driving uphill to avoid pressing accelerator all the way down or pumping it frequently. This wastes fuel and pushes your engine to the limit. Don't ride the brake or clutch pedal. Change the gear at the right time. Gear selection must be done according to the speed of the vehicle. Skillful use of gear depends on accurately matching the gear to the road speed and using the clutch and accelerator at precise timing. Your vehicle can only increase speed if the engine can deliver the power. You can only do this if you are on the right gear. 
Do not change gear unnecessarily. Use the engine torque. Each gear shift represents loss of time and speed due to the interruption in the tractive force. Consequently, gear shifting increases fuel consumption. Too frequent gear shifting also imposes extra wear on the clutch and synchronizer. Skip gear shifting if possible. Split gears if necessary. Skip unnecessary gears when shifting up or down. Only engage the splitter box in order to keep the optimum speed range on long uphill stretches. Do not idle your engine for more than three minutes. When the engine is idling for a long time, the vehicle is using up fuel without going anywhere. So its fuel economy is zero. Avoid parking in the sun. Excessive temperature gives more friction, thus consumes fuel. Limit use of air conditioning if ambient is cool enough for humans' comfort. AC puts more load on the engine, but don't open your windows as the pressure that holds the big vehicle cab from going increases fuel consumption. Engine ribs represent an important parameter in driving economically. The only way to determine the ribs precisely and easily is to use the rib counter. The vehicle must be operated within the green band speed range of the vehicle. Operating vehicle beyond or below the green band limit leads to worse fuel consumption. Try to keep the needle of the rib counter in the green zone during normal driving and run the engine under high load. Vehicle maintenance. Have a tune up on the engine regularly. Check and clean air filter regularly. Ensure that the cooling system is functioning properly. Too hot or too cold an engine wastes fuel. Check wheel alignment. Check brake fluid lines and keep brakes properly adjusted. Dragging brakes consume more fuel. Check fuel pump and lines for leaks. Leaks are fire hazards and consumes fuel. Don't fill fuel tank to the brim. Allow for a little room for breather to avoid wastage. Vehicle tires. Specified tire inflation pressure must be observed. Having the tire pressure one bar too low increases fuel consumption by up to 5%. This, is addition, this additional assumption is the result of increased flexing work by tire, in which case the driving energy is converted into heat. This also reduces the serv service life of the tire, so tires must be checked for recommended air pressure. Recommended tire pressure for tractors, front tires, 120 PSI or pounds per square inch pressure. Drive axle tires, 115 PSI. For reefers, tankers, high bed or lower bed trailers, single tires is 125 PSI. Double tire is 120 PSI. Driver's attitude and behavior. Driver should be free from any stress and anger while driving. Drivers commonly express how they feel in the way they drive, and this can be dangerous. Drivers who have recently had an argument behave more aggressively than normal and drive too fast close to the vehicle in front. Study shows there is a greater risk of an accident during times of stress. That's all I got for you today. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified of new video uploads. Thank you for watching.